Everyone talks about how great AMD CPUs are, but according to the Steam hardware survey, Intel is still the one holding the bulk of the ground in the CPU war. But if you talk to any enthusiast, they'll gush on and on about how much they love AMD CPUs. So just what in the ever goblin farting is everyone actually buying on Amazon right now? Oh, it is AMD. It's all AMD with even two generation old Ryzen chips pitching in to kick Intel completely out of the top 10 list and 3D Vcash taking every spot on the podium, which wait, speaking of two generation old chips, now AM4 is on top again? With all the holiday sales going on right now, the only constant is Intel's complete absence at the top of the sales charts with only their older generation selling at all, meaning that the Steam hardware survey is based on ancient sales and things are shifting big time. Yikes. So let's break down the chips y'all are buying and talk about why, and talk about our sponsor. MSI, their newest addition to the Aegis RS2 AI series of pre-built PCs is here and packed full of the latest and greatest for all your AAA gaming needs. Unpack your own ready to go powerhouse by clicking our link today. When we first sat down to look at CPU sales trends, the 9800X3D was comfortably in first place thanks to the feeding frenzy that took place after what was arguably the most exciting gaming CPU launch in the last two and a half years. But now it's completely out of stock and it's being scalped hard, even on non-auction sites like Amazon. Making matters worse, the word on the street is that a significant restock of this thing isn't expected until January. So for anyone who was hoping to put the atomic number 14 under the Christmas tree this year, that ain't gonna cut it. So how's option two looking here? Actually, not too bad. After all, the 7800X3D was in first place for quite a while before the new hotness came along, and it's pretty similar to the new one. Both of them feature eight full fat cores and 16 threads, 96 megabytes of level three cache. It's just that the newer 9800X3D runs faster in its base and boost clocks and has some generational IPC uplift thanks to Zen 5 processing. It is also overclockable, but let's be real. It's not like the old hat was so slow that you needed to overclock it anyway. The 7800X3D is not just Pretty fast though. It is straight up the best rated item that we have ever featured in this series with an absolutely unbelievable 4.9 stars. Sure, that is based on fewer ratings than the beloved 3600 non-X that we featured last time around, but it's also got a lot more competition from other gaming chips like the 5700X3D, which is here in third spot. We'll talk about that later though, because right now I want to know what a one star review even looks like when it only makes up about 2% of the overall reviews. Let's see. Billy had memory controller issues. That's no good. Ben hated Amazon's customer service. A few people had their chips die, <laughs> pun intended. Anywhere from a few weeks to a few months after purchase, there's the odd product missing scam. And then multiple others were upset that they didn't get a Jedi survivor or avatar game code along with their product. So. Wow, even the people who were pissed about this thing were mostly pretty happy with the actual processor. As for the overwhelmingly good reviews, it's basically an endlessly scrolling page of titles like amazing CPU, best gaming CPU on the market and huge upgrade. Our own review when it came out boiled down to, yeah, it's the best gaming CPU on the market. It's just that it's kind of expensive and unfortunately, it still is, even though it's been replaced in AMD's product lineup. You see, here's the thing. Most of the time when the new generation comes out, the last generation goes on sale, but the 7800X3D is still selling for 480 US dollars, about $30 over MSRP, which has AMD kind of looking like that smug Facebook marketplace seller saying, no low balls, I know what I've got. And the unfortunate part is, AMD's not wrong. When we tested the 9800X3D more recently, it clearly beat its predecessor, which has contributed to its gangbuster sales. But the thing is, it didn't beat it by as much as some people hoped, at least outside of extreme examples like Rocket League and Stellaris. And the reality is, unless you are competitively gaming at 1080p, 
and you need a chip that does well enough in productivity, there are other cheaper options. Remember that 5700X 3D that I mentioned earlier? It goes for as little as $200. That is less than half of what you'll pay for an AM5X 3D chip. I mean, sure, AM4 is a dead platform, but it's also a significantly cheaper platform, especially if you're willing to pick up some used parts like a motherboard and DDR4 memory. In fact, you could build most of your new to you PC for about the price of just one of our best-selling chips, which frees up more of your budget for what really matters for a gaming PC, the GPU. As we saw during our review of the 9800X 3D, even with the fastest GPU on the market, for now anyway, once you go past 1080p, the bottleneck swings hard toward the GPU and the affordability of good 1440p gaming monitors and 4K 120Hz TVs has never been better. So if you want a great gaming experience today without wasting a dollar, AM4 plus a better display is kind of still my go-to. But if you want to be able to upgrade your system without doing a complete rebuild, Entry-level AM5 has some standout deals right now as well, with a Ryzen 7 7700X going for just $267 at the time of filming. That's still an 8-core, 16-thread processor, but at only a little over half the price of the 7800X3D. You are going to give up some gaming performance, even at higher resolutions and settings, but assuming, let's say, a thousand US dollar budget, that gives you over $200 extra to throw at your GPU or spend on a nicer monitor, or hey, maybe a desk upgrade like this Northern Lights desk pad from LTTstore.com. Now, so far, most of this wasn't much of a surprise. Lots of people want the best of the best. <laughs> and for everyone else, bang for the buck chips? Well, those are a great choice too. But something that did surprise me was just how different the sales mix looks between AMD's X CPUs and their more budget-friendly non-X CPUs. As I mentioned before, the last time we did this, the chip we featured was the Ryzen 5 3600. To date, that has over 43,000 ratings, while the 3600X has barely over 12,000. To be clear, 12,000 ratings? That's a lot. They were both great chips but AMD had a big problem when it came to selling the X. It was $50 more for a performance difference that ended up being mostly theoretical. Now, Intel solved this problem within their lineup by artificially limiting overclocking and boost speeds on their non-K CPUs. But AMD, at least at the time, took a more consumer-friendly approach and left their entire lineup unlocked. Well, Seems like AMD may have learned a lesson from all of that because now, a few generations later, non-X versions just aren't available alongside their X-rated partners at launch. Instead, AMD launches the beefy version with full fanfare, then quietly releases the X-less variant later. How much later? Well, seems like that depends. When AM5 debuted, eager customers were stuck waiting months if they wanted to save a buck on a slightly slower 7000 series. And as for 9000? <laughs> It'll be December by the time this video goes live, and we haven't seen so much as a rumored release date for non-X 9000 variants. I guess that's what happens when the closest thing to a competing product from Intel is a CPU that used to be a lake before it took something to the knee. Um, what was it? Something, it was our... our uh, our arrangement uh, to give you this message from our sponsor. Delete me. Your online privacy is no joke, so skip the funny business and add another layer to your digital production with Delete Me. They comb the web for data you want to keep private, such as email addresses and phone numbers, and their representatives will reach out on your behalf and request them to be removed. The big culprit that all those cold calls you keep getting are from data brokers, which take your info and then sell it to the highest bidder. Well, Delete Me has a growing list of over 750 of them that they remove data from. Plus, with their new family plans, you and your loved ones can receive the protection Delete Me provides. It's easy to add members and manage them from one dashboard, with each user getting their own data sheet so you can actually track what information is being removed and from where. So join deleteme.com slash LTT20 or click the link in our description and use code LTT20 at checkout for 20% off the plan that fits your needs. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the last time we looked at the top selling CPU. A lot of those same rules for picking the right CPU for your rig are truly timeless.